Hello, today I will show you how to use RStudio to perform ANCOVA with multiple comparisons. In this tutorial, we need total 8 packages you have to install before the analysis. So here, I use a dataset included in RStudio. It names empty cars. In this dataset, the dependent variable is miles per gallon, and the independent variable is number of cylinders, it meaning the different groups. The covariable is car weight. First, we have to import the data set and run this code. You can import your data set, click here, and save your data in uh, Excel and import your data to RStudio. And then we have to set the independent variable as a factor. Use this code. You have to change the CYL as an independent variable in your data set. And we use ggplot to see what kind of data we have. And we run this code and we plot our data. So here show the data what we have. So the x is a meaning car weight is a covariable. So y is a miles per gallon. So here we have four, six, eight. It meaning three different groups. So in this data set, we want to compare the differences between the three different groups. You can also remove the confident intervals and extend the regression lines. Use this code. If you know what kind of data you have, you don't need to perform this code. Next, we perform ANCOVA analysis. So we have to load these two packages and we fit the ANCOVA model. So here shows the resource. So the p-value for the CYL is uh, lower than 0.05 it meaning significant different among different groups. And the car weight also affect the miles per gallon. So we found the difference between these three groups. So next we have to perform a post hoc test to test the difference among groups. We have to import this five packages and run. Then we perform this code. Here's the result we get. So we found group 6 and group 4 is significant different. Group 8 and 4 is also significant different. Group 8 and 6 is not significant different. Before you perform each code, you have to change the name of dependent variable, independent variable, and covariable as your data set. I hope this tutorial can help you.